Hey everyone and welcome. This is Dylan with Whoop Eaters and I'll be doing a quick review of the Speed Tools Inc. Tools Kit. So Robbie sent me this kit uh, about probably two months ago and I've owed him a good uh, walkthrough video. I know there's a couple out there. I think Ryan from Kibbe Tech and I know Robbie himself have done a couple of these videos. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I have and uh, my thoughts on it. This is the Robbie Gordon speed utv toolkit um it has normally another sticker right here mine whenever i received it the sticker had kind of started peeling for some reason uh so i just went ahead and pulled that off you can see it's kind of peeling a little bit there uh but to me not a big deal it's just a sticker all right so opening it up it's in a uh pelican style weather tight case it's got a gasket seal all the way around it um I think Kibbe Tech and maybe it might be Izzy Fab, they make nice mounts for this particular case, which I believe is also the same case as a Pelican 1510, which if it is, I plan to upgrade this case to a uh, Pelican 1510 just because lifetime warranty case and I, I think it, they seal a little bit better and they're a little bit heavy dutier. This case is super nice though. It does have grab handle on the side. It's got a grab handle up top. It's got a um, handle that will extend out here to make it to where it's really easy to carry. It's got uh, wheels on the bottom that you can see here. So it is really nice. It's even got a vent. Um, it's it's a nice case, but uh, again, I think of what I'll end up doing is probably upgrade to the uh, Pelican case. So opening the case up, this is what the setup looks like whenever you receive it. Mine's a little bit dusty because I've actually used these tools um, for just various projects, uh, working on cars. It's super nice little mobile mechanic set. So as you can see, and I'll give a full description or a link to the uh, list of all of the items that are in it, but you've got just nice snips. You've got a set of flush cuts. You've got a, a set of needle nose vice grips, needle nose, another set of smaller vice grips. Um, a, a center punch a, or an automatic center punch, a ratcheting screwdriver, a nut or a quarter inch nut driver, various screwdrivers, long and stubby. Um, and then also some very small screwdrivers. It's got a feeler gauge set, a uh, micrometer, tape measure. What I really like about it is you can open this up here. Excuse me, trying to do this one handed. And there's even some additional uh, goodies here. So really nice AN wrenches, six, 12 millimeter, or, or I'm sorry, 16 AN, 12 AN, 10, eight, and then I think it's six and four. Yeah, six and four AN wrenches. And they're pretty trick. They all say Speed UTV on them, like all the, the rest of the tools. So that's just really cool uh, uh, labeling that Robbie and his guys did. Uh, a set of wire strippers. Again, they even say Speed UTV or Speed Tools on them. So really nice uh, quality. Um, I, I wouldn't say, and I think even Robbie said it in his video, you know, this isn't, you're not getting a snap-on quality tool set, but it's perfect for us, got, you know, us off-road racers or for me, want to be off-road racer. Um, because, you know, it, it's quality stuff for the most part. Uh, it's stuff that we can afford. And, you know, there are some things that I'll probably toss in here or add into my toolkit. Uh, maybe a bigger pair of channel locks and things of that nature. But uh, I'll keep going through the toolkit. One nice thing about this toolkit is it does come with these nice padded setups here. Um, awesome for just setting equipment on, kneeling down while you're working on it. Uh, it's super uncomfortable when you're kneeling down working on any piece of equipment, uh, working on the, you know, on the race vehicle, you're in the rocks, you're in the sand. So this is a nice padded setup. Plus allows you to lay your tools out really nice. And it comes with two of those. So here's the next level that it comes with. And it's on a tray setup. It's all captured in these nice pockets on these, what they call a pallet or a tool pallet. Uh, large pair of channel locks. I call them channel locks, slip joint pliers. Uh, a pair of just normal slip joint pliers, uh, safety tie wire pliers, a little heel bar, wire brush, scissors, uh, a nice utility knife, Allen wrenches, and I believe these are, yeah, these are all inch Allen wrenches, uh, inspection mirror magnets, files, uh, a tire pressure gauge, Sharpie, even a flashlight, and a nice uh, uh, metal, all metal pick set here. So that's really thought out really well. All right, for the next layer underneath this pallet, so the pallets, they come out. There's nothing on the back side of this one here. 
So here you can see I've used these a little bit, but uh, I was kind of slacking and did not remove all of the plastic. Uh, these are the Allen, or I'm sorry, these are just the normal box end wrenches. Um, on this side, these are all uh, non-ratcheting. Um, and then this set right here in the middle, but on the far left here, these are all ratcheting uh, this set right here. I'm sorry. So from 5 16 up to 3 quarter, these are all uh, reversible ratcheting uh, box end wrenches. So again, everything's labeled really nicely with the speed tools logo, but they are reversible, which is pretty sweet. Um, I have only purchased a set of just like normal cobalt brand or gear wrench brand that aren't reversible and having that reversible is super nice. Another really cool feature about the speed UTV, or the, I keep saying speed UTV, the speed tools toolkit is that the lower trays or the lower tool pallets are actually not only are they in an EVA foam tray that's labeled with everything really nicely, but they are also in a plastic uh, shell. And what is super nice about that is, for one, it, it keeps the tool pallet super rigid. So anybody that's messed with uh, any of the tool sets that are in UV or EVA foam, you know that that's not really meant to be handled a whole bunch. But in this case, with the Speed Ink or the Speed Tools UTV kit, or I'm sorry, the Speed Tools toolkit, is that because they are in this hard plastic shell, um, it makes it to where you can actually handle this EVA foamed cut out uh, tool set a lot better and you don't got to worry about destroying the foam uh, moving it in and out. The other trick thing is you can actually remove the foam out of this tray and use this tray as a parts tray if you're in that type of a bind or in that type of a situation. So they will actually come out of this, fo the foam will come out of this plastic tray. All right, so there's all the in wrenches. All right, and some more goodies. Here is the quarter, three eighths, and half inch socket set. So fortunately, I haven't even needed to open this. And you know, my issue, I don't wanna open it because um, I, I just don't wanna even risk losing it because I like this toolkit so much. But you can see it is all uh, still sealed up. Um, it's got a full set of uh, from quarter to one inch, um, three eighths sockets. Uh, it's got a set of 7 16 to 1 inch half inch sockets. It's got a set from 6 millimeter to 19 millimeter 3 8 sockets here. Uh, more 3 8 uh, This is quarter inch all the way to three quarter. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, a two inch extension, a three inch extension, spark plug socket adapters here. Um, let's see. It's got uh, this nice half inch socket uh, extension and a wobble, three eighths extension. It's a six inch and a wobble, and then a quarter inch extension and a wobble. So very um, well organized, well thought out, nice ratchets. I think they're seventy two tooth. They might be a little bit more. Uh, they look very similar to um, my Cobalt brand or uh, some of the newer Craftsman stuff. Uh, they're still really nice. They're re they're sealed really well. Uh, and they're made really nice. Again, everything has the speed UTV icons on it uh, that you can see right here, or it's got the speed UTV labels. All right, bottom tray. Here you can see really, again, everything's in this nice foam, makes it really easy to or to know what's missing. Um, if you have any idea about this foam, some of the military guys, they could probably speak to it, especially military mechanics. I believe that's where this concept came from. Um, I work in the uh, chemical oil and gas industry, uh, so we call this 5S. has to deal with organization, those types of things. And what this type of kit does is, like I said earlier, it allows you to understand exactly what's missing. So you know, okay, I didn't leave a, I didn't drop the infamous 10 millimeter socket and not realize it. I know exactly where every socket goes, every piece goes, so I do not lose it. So uh, here we'll move on to the final tray at the very bottom. We've got a nice 3 8 torque wrench. Uh, it's the clicker style, which is really nice. Nice brass punch or drift, rubber mallet, a nice ball peen, a set of uh, just normal punches, uh, another pry bar, and a um, just a, a test light, just a normal 12 volt test light with an alligator clip on the bottom. So 
Again, I wanted to extend my thanks out to Robbie for shooting me out this kit. Uh, super nice. Really excited. It's one of those things I love that I have it. Hope I never have to use it. But I guarantee you I won't mind it when I do. Uh, again, it's a very quality kit. Uh, please leave a comment or send me a message if you have any questions about it. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I believe Kibby Tech and Izzy Fab both make uh, mounts for this. I'm, uh, that's probably be one of my next purchases is to purchase one of those uh, nice mounts which will capture it really well in the back of either my F-150 project or my Bronco project. But again, thanks. This is Dylan from Whoop Eaters. If you have any questions or comments, please comment uh, below and uh, or send me a message. Thanks.